Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our 100 baby challenge. I... Okay, so here's what I have planned. <laughs> so on Twitch, we are doing a legacy challenge called the whimsy stories challenge and this challenge in the first generation you have to live in a tiny home right and before this i had never lived in a, in a tiny home so i didn't realize the benefits of it okay we had three kids at first right and their skills went up so unbelievably quickly that i was like why am i not doing this in my hundred baby challenge if you guys didn't know with the tiny living pack if you live in a tiny home if you live in a micro home especially your skills, like there's a major skill boost for pretty much everything. So I know that we haven't been in this new 100 baby house for that long, but I am so close. You know what? I'm there. I want to build another house. I want to live in a tiny home in this challenge because it'll just help us out so much, so much more. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to work on converting our current house into a micro home. I might just bulldoze the lot and just see what we can do. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling in like five minutes. <laughs> I don't have a Celsius. I made just made some cherry lemonade homemade. So cheers to you. Cheers to this video. Let's get into it. It tastes just like hot dog on a stick lemonade. All right, you guys, here we are back in the hundred baby house. I'm a little bit scared because everyone's getting a phone call. Um, who died? Who was it? Flora. Rip Flora. Ugh, I really love this house. I didn't, I don't even think I uploaded this to the gallery. Let me go ahead and do that really quick because I think a couple of you have been asking for it. I'm honestly not sure, but let's go ahead and save it anyway. So, hmm. <laughs> I'm so tempted in just like bulldozing the entire lot. Why is there dust bunnies? I could have sworn I disabled dust. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around the house. I'm going to put everything in the inventory that I think that we will need for this challenge. Okay, and then I'm going to bulldoze the lot. Attempt to build some kind of tiny home. Uh, I love this kitchen. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. It is very uh, alpha, but I, I will miss it still. Um, We'll keep this because it was a gift from our son, I think. This dining room is so nice too. It's on the gallery though, so if I ever need it back, then I, I can just grab it from there. I honestly feel like we can sell everything else because we can just repurchase it, you know? Ooh, ooh, I'm actually gonna keep these wall showers because those come in handy. I'm gonna keep the toilets too. Um, I'll keep a bathtub. Not really, I'm gonna keep her pod. Uh, we just have a bunch of like decorative like frivolous things all of this like outdoor stuff will definitely come in handy since like our entire lot is pretty much going to be like outdoor now the only thing that we're gonna have inside of our tiny home is probably like toddler beds potties and the babies and everything else is just gonna be outside it rarely rains in oasis springs so i think we'll be okay Fingers crossed. All right, you guys, say goodbye to the 100 baby home. I'm actually gonna keep the basketball hoop as well. It was nice while it lasted, but you know what? I'm doing this for a good cause, okay? Okay, here we go. Bulldoze lot, yes. Spicy. I woke up today and chose chaos apparently. Okay, so we almost have 100k, which is very lovely. Where did our child go? Where did the child go? Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's quickly build some kind of structure. I will probably just like do the basics right now, fix it up off camera. So tiny home residential. I want to do a micro home. So that's only 32 tiles, which is honestly insane. I think I'm going to put the structure here. Yeah, and I'm going to move it more towards the front of the lot. That is so small. That's it. That's all. Th those are the, these are the only walls that we can have. It looks like we have two more tiles. So I guess I can just like try and make this look a little better i don't know in my whimsy stories challenge i was having so much trouble like figuring out the roof and just the layout i wanted for <laughs> for the tiny home because it's like it's not easy okay it's really not i want the tiny home to look 
like it fits in Oasis Springs. So um, we're gonna do one of these slanty roofs. I love, 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 love these panels from um, a spa day. <laughs> I think they're beautiful. So that's what we're going to use. It's a perfect color for <clears throat> for Miss Oasis as well. Okay, so here is our um, tiny home. It just needs a little bit of landscaping. I'm, I'm really liking the way that it's looking though. This bush would be perfect here in this corner, I think. What if I made one a little bit smaller and like, why can't I rise it? What, since when can't I rise bushes? What the heck? Um, well, that's whack. Okay, okay, that's a vibe. That's so cute. Loving this front area so far. We just need a little walkway. Okie dokie then. I like this. I hope that you guys like it so far too. It's like our old house, just like our old house is like little brother or something. You know, you know what I mean? This is gonna be difficult. In my tiny home in Whimsy Stories, it was just one massive room. It was weird, I will not lie. The kitchen will be in here, but it'll be very small. And we'll have a grill outside as well. There are so many things that you can put outside, you guys. You don't even need walls. I'm, I'm like slowly realizing this, that walls are not necessary. <laughs> okay, so this will be the bathroom. So we got two bathroom stalls. We have two shower stalls and we've got one bathtub area. Um, we don't need any bedrooms in here. Um, the kids can sleep in tents as well as Cassia. Well, Cassia can have her pod somewhere. I'm not sure. We just need to be careful about keeping electronics like out in the open in case it does rain. Now, the rest of the house is going to be used for toddler beds. Actually, toddlers can sleep in the tents from Dream Home Decorator. So we don't even need beds in here. This can clear just strictly be kitchen vibes and uh, bathroom vibes. Let's build a kitchen really quick. Maybe I can stick the fridge in here. I don't know what else to put here, so I think a fridge will probably be best. <gasps> Ooh, look at this fridge. Dang, that's a big boy. Definitely a very weird setup. <laughs> it's fine. We'll work it out. The skill boosts are worth it, trust me. So now I'm kind of debating if we should do like extend this one and delete. Okay, still cute, still functional, but it'll help me better. It will help me a lot more like on the ins inside now. So what I can do is have a bigger kitchen now. Okay, so here's our little kitchen. I'm just gonna do the base of it right now. And then for the fresh babies, we can also keep them in here too. Um, probably don't wanna leave them outside. That probably wouldn't be very good parenting. So I just realized that we don't have a sink. I always forget the sink. Uh, I think I can fit it in here with the bathtub. If I put the bathtub on that wall and just put it right here in this corner, that should be fine. Okay, we have the base of our house done. I know it's plain. I'll decorate it some more later. Uh, I'll add a fancy rug. Actually, let's do the rug now. Let's put some color in here, okay? <laughs> I'm satisfied with our tiny home. Okay, so now to work on the outside, I'm just gonna quickly place some things because um, I'm wasting a lot of time just building and I do wanna get some stuff done today. So I'm just gonna throw some tents out. I'm gonna throw the grill out and uh, yeah, we'll get back to work and then I will um, slowly but surely work on this lot some more. Okay, so my favorite tent is by far the one from Snowy Escape. It's so, so cute. The swatches are amazing. So I'm gonna place, I'm gonna place a couple. This is crazy. This looks so crazy. What am I doing? Okay, there's the bedroom. And then we have, we can have like a grilling area over here in this corner. I promise this will look good when I'm done. I promise you guys. It looks so chaotic right now, I can't stand it. Okay, I got everything out that we need, I think. Fingers crossed, I don't know. Oh yeah, we gotta put Lily's tombstone back out. <laughs> can't forget Lily, she can be over here with us while we sleep. <laughs> okay, why are you hysterical? Can you please calm yourself down? Please don't die, oh my God, please don't die. Can you like, 
lounge in the kiddie pool because that's like really the only thing I can think of to make you not be crazy. Um, oh, that's that's anyway. <laughs> that was meant to be harmless, but it turns out it's not very harmless. It's it's very harmless. I mean, Earl, huh? She's still hysterical, so I'm a little bit scared to get her to like go out and flirt with someone right now. Why are the babies sad? Oh, right, someone died. Sheeps. Okay. Well, let's. All right. Let's. Uh, let me give you guys a little refresher about what we got going on. We have Mishka and Remy, who we are working on getting to A students. They are B students currently. Then we have Hugo and Harvey, who we are working on their skills. It looks like um, Hugo just needs a little bit of thinking. So where is he? Is he have to sleep in the tent? Oh, okay, you can sleep in the tents. Well, that's pretty cool. Can you just what's that a couple of things so that you can get that thinking up? Watch your mom do whatever it is that she's doing in the kiddie pool. Oh my god, not another death. I refuse to answer. I will not answer. I'm sorry, it's not happening. Harvey, uh, Harvey's ready to be aged up, so that's fantastic. The baby is sad. Um, Cassia, I think you might need to feed it. This is so awkward. We went from having everything to having nothing. <laughs> okay, it looks like we can age up Hugo now, so let's see if we have a cake. We don't. Well, that's just fantastic. Guess we're gonna have to make one, which is fine. Someone's sleeping in our pod. How dare you? You there's tents outside. Another one? Are you joking? Oh, not Augie. Rip Augie. Bacon a cake for my kids. A bacon a cakey for my kidsies. All right, add birthday candles. No, you need to add the birthday candles like now. Okay, thank you. All right, I'm gonna drag this out here. You guys are gonna blow out your candles. I wonder, can they blow out the candles here? Okay, it has to be on the counter, apparently. It's really annoying. Why? What are you doing to this child? Leave him alone. All right, help blow out candles. Let's do Hugo first, because I think he was born first. Let me have a look at you, little baby. Let me look at you. Brown eyes. Um shaved head poor baby's so sad he's probably like why are we outside oh no he's sad because of all the deaths rip why what try harvey then are you kidding me cassia this is the most annoying let's play when your game doesn't want to cooperate okay you're in the house you're holding him there you go very good very good happy birthday harvey little bean what a cutie happy birthday what do you need child all right so harvey is a happy toddler and his aspiration is gonna be whiz kid wit it is kid <laughs> wow look at that two blocks let's go who are you oh that's harvey oh my gosh cute oh she's actually gonna do it Thank goodness. God, Cassia's new look is so good. I love her. She do be rocking that hair though. Happy birthday. Okay, so his aspiration is gonna be social butterfly. Why you gotta go all the way out here to age up? All right, social butterfly and his trait is good. Oh, two very good beans. I love it. Okay, so. What's the next order of business? Just getting all these four beans uh, A's and waiting for the toddler to age up. And that's that. Rusty Crow has passed away. Rest in peace, Rusty Crow. Okay, let me check the calendar. Oh, thank God. It's, 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 it, who is, what's your name again? What is your name? Casper, that's right. Okay, we can age Casper up now. This child literally never stops crying. Like I've done everything I possibly could for you. I love how she's like all starry from being in like parent mode or whatever. A charmer! I love that for you. Who? So this baby is Roderick's baby, um, the alien. So next, or is Cassie pregnant right now? Yeah, she is. She's pregnant with um, 
Jebs, baby. I'm so excited for that one. Okay, so we just gotta wait. She's in um trimester. Cha cha cha. What trimester are you in, my love? Third trimester in 12 hours. Well, what's this? Do not disturb her rage cleaning. Sheesh. Okay. Well, let me um get some food out. I'll just put this on the counter and y'all can grab it whenever you want it. Um what do I want to do? Let's go into cast. Let's go into cast and give these beans their makeovers. I don't think Harvey had heterochromia, so I'm going to delete. We got to give him his vitiligo back. Uh, was it a tattoo or was it a skin detail? Ah, uh, here we go. What a cutie pie. I love him so much. What happened to your lashes? Boy, if I had a dollar for every time I was in a different outfit other than freaking every day <laughs> when I give these kids their makeovers. I would be so rich, you guys. All right, sir, let's find you something to wear, shall we? So you are a whiz kid and a happy toddler. Whiz kid, eh? I need more kid stuff. I'm running out of options. I've used them all so many times. Oh, let's do the flannels on them. I love this CC so much. The flannels are so good. All right, he is all finished. Let's move on to his brother Hugo now. Um, He's a social butterfly and he's good. Oh my God, look at this kid right now, you guys. How cute! He has such a kind face. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. What the heck? Oh my god. I think I'm gonna leave this hair. I think he's killing it. I also really love, like, the blue. Where is that? Where is that one at? Is that the black one? That's pretty dope. We're in hot weather. Oh my God, I could cry. I'm gonna kick myself. <laughs> uh, was it that one that he had? No. Oh, was this one. You guys look at this. Oh, a cutie. Okay, I'm gonna put him in a flannel as well. Just a different color. So Harvey had a red one. So he can have, how does blue look? Mm. Ooh, okay, let's do that one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this little boy. <laughs> so cute. I am, so, I've been so bad about my timer lately, you guys. I'm sorry, I did so good for a little while there, but I, I keep forgetting to set my timer. Sorry about that, y'all. Apologies, apologies for my incompetence. What the heck is this hat? What is that from? Is that from a pack? <laughs> Outdoor retreat. That's comical. Very, very, very cute. Let's move on to Casper. Hi, Vivi. Gray eyes, huh? Okay, so it doesn't say that he's an alien, at least not yet. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think he's probably going to be a hybrid. We're still counting it as two, right? What a cutie. Oh my God, you guys. Gucci. I didn't even realize that. Look at this outfit. Look at this child right now. <laughs> I love this hair. Oh yeah. A plaid onesie. You already know. My goodness. So sneezy today. All right. All done with Casper. Wow. Talk about some cute kids. This is a good batch. A good batch. I'm talking about my kids like they're cookies. Oh my lord. Anyway, ow. <laughs> ow, jeez. Aw, all of my babies are so sad. Hey, who made a mess out here? Cassia, I'm gonna need you to clean it. Oh, we don't have a trash can either. Okay, I need to put a trash can out here. We have a money one, right? Did I not save it? I didn't. That's okay. We have enough money to buy one. I'm just a little bit down, Hugo. Thank you for checking on me. So sweet. You guys, there's roast chicken. Why are you eating macaroons? I actually don't blame you. I would do that too. These two are close. It's really cute. All right, y'all. Homework time. Can I ask my kids to be in my club? Is that a thing? Because if so, I can make like doing homework as an activity. I can't. Oh, I can get Remy to make one. Fantastic. Activities. Do homework. Be friendly. 
and play with toys. All right, let's start a gathering. Hopefully all of the kids will just do their homework on their own without me having to tell them. Yeah, it seems as though everything is going okay. Ooh, we got some crabs. I'm gonna put that in Cassie's inventory. Why did I say Cassie like that? Let's party train Casper. I'm definitely gonna do the 100 baby challenge when The Sim 5 comes out but only but not until the sims 5 comes out like there's no way i'm doing it in the sims 4 again like absolutely not i would rather eat my own foot all right so you guys get to witness how quickly these kids skills go up being on a micro home lot it's kind of ridiculous like look look at his potty skill look at it it is flying this is precisely why i went through all of that crap in the beginning he's gonna potty train he's gonna be potty trained in like two seconds boom he was just staged up and he's already potty trained okay it's your turn to work on your communication skills so come over here and babble we'll see how quickly it goes up uh when you babble let's look whoa Holy Yo, that talk about life hacks. Holy cow. I mean sim hacks, not life hacks. I guess life hacks. Look, there you go. Level three communication. Wait, no, you do it one more time. One more time, please, please, please. Thank you so much. Okay, now let's play dolls. Let's get that imagination skill up. Okay. Ew, you're going in a hot in the hot tub on a heat in a hot day? That sounds terrible. They seem happy. Like no complaints, I don't think. What are you doing with him? You're giving him food? Okay, that's fair. I don't think <laughs> that seems really dangerous, Mishka. Ugh. Children can't die though, so we're all good. We're all good. Will you just max that imagination skill, please, before you go to sleep? please okay there you go you did it all right all right come sleep come sleep in the tent okay well that was easy S like ridiculously easy oh look who came to visit you're always here sweet bean okay next order of business is everyone needs to do their homework i wonder if they um finish their homework fit faster too hold on let me read you the benefits of a micro home plants at this lot grow at double the speed inspired focus and happy buffs last for twice the normal duration Thanks to tiny space, your relationship gains are increased by twofold, but at the cost of increased negative side effects as well. Another benefit of living in a confined space, all your energy bills are cut in half. The skill gains are increased by twofold as well. And all the items on the lot provide double comfort values. Time to relax a little. That is perfect for 100 baby i'm sad i didn't do it earlier all right everyone is done with their homework lovely this is a vibe like i wouldn't mind growing up here what are you gonna do oh he's going not night good night sweet prince we just make sure everyone got a skill to level four as well oh they crushed it they absolutely crushed it bye talia thanks for coming to visit he's always appreciated when are you popping everyone is asleep how weird oh good morning what do you have to do you're gonna use the potty okay good you're gonna use the potty and then you can play dolls no no dolls i need you to mm, i need you to do some thinking stuff do you have a tablet do we have a tablet anywhere no tablet that's okay we had some blocks that should work why is this so wholesome i like this so much better than living in a house all right, all the beans got school in an hour. They have all done their homework. They all got their skill to level four. So hopefully we'll be getting some better grades today, even though they're all very sad. Cassie just got the single and loving it lifestyle. It's about time. <laughs> that took so long. Let's get some music going. All right, so uh, Casper just reached level three thinking. So the only one that we have left is... Uh, movement man that went really fast all the kids are back with projects none of them got a better grade today that is so sad but we have all this space 
to uh, have them all work on their projects together, which is pretty cute. Wow. I love this lot. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. This is too cute. We should have done this earlier. Living that outdoor life right next to a freaking playground. That's a vibe. Oh, what do you got for us, Caleb? Lemonade sounds amaze. Oh, we got to get some food for Casper, though. No problem. I should probably get a mini fridge and put it outside. Um, how about some veggie tempura? That sounds pretty good, doesn't it, Casper? Go ahead and grab your little self some servings, okay? Okay, it looks like it's, it might be glitching. That's annoying. Oh, there she goes. Caleb, hey. One lemonade, please. Thank you. It's a scorcher today, isn't it? Sip, sip. Yes, she's in labor. The lemonade induced her. Let's go. Okay, go ahead. Go have it at the hospital. Whilst I whip out my baby names. Oops, I didn't mean to hire a nanny. Shoot. That's okay, it's just two seconds. It's a boy! Okay, so this one is going to be... I'm starting to forget the names that we've used in the past. Let's do Marlin. I'm pretty positive we've never done that name. Are you kidding me? What is with Cassia only having one child? Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna need you to... um. I need you to fire this this nanny. I know you're like doing your job, but like get out of here. I, I'm breaking the rules right now. Who's this Mr. Man? Lawrence? Have we had kids with Lawrence yet? Dude, why are you eating? You've just been sitting there crying this whole time. You need to eat before you get taken away. All right, it looks like a couple of these beans have finished their project. Uh, Hugo's on his way. I am going to find Cassia, someone else to get her pregnant. This baby is Jeb's baby. Okay, so... Uh, why do we have such a good relationship with this nanny that we just fired? What the heck? Who's Mitchell? I feel like we have not had kids with whoever this Mitchell person is. I don't understand why Cassia has been having one one kid. Like, what's going on? Did I not give this house lot traits? Oh my god, I didn't. I'm an idiot. I also need to get, not study spot, but good schools or whatever it's called. Good schools and child's play. Yeah, those are the three that are super clutch. All right, Mitchell Bloom is on his way. I'm pretty sure we don't have any kids with him. Yeah, he has no kids. Okay, yes, come around back. We're back here. Where are you going? Oh, straight to the computer. Brag about really, really micro home. Oh my gosh. Hey, welcome. I don't know. He doesn't seem into us, like not even a little bit. Hanji, oh my god. Wow. That is something. I have never seen a more bored sim in my life. Look at our relationship bar. I am so confused right now. How did it go all the way? You know why? It's because of this freaking lot. We took one photo with him and our relationship bar is 100%. I am shook. Holy cannoli. First kiss. Let's get it. Oh my god, can we woohoo? Can we try for baby already? Try for baby in hot tub. Oh my god, Lily's here as well. <gasps> in front of everyone! Oh my god, this let's play is so unbelievably chaotic, but I'm here for it. She just does not- No! Mitchell! Mitchell! Mmm, that is a big mistake, sir. Your recent amorous activity has revealed that Mitchell is an alien? Heck yes! The sim says that like it's a bad thing. I didn't realize that woohooing with a sim uh, revealed their alienism. Well, yes! She's still pregnant even though we use protection. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Yes, she likes retro music. Why not? All right, yeah. Thank you for spreading your seed. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Wow. So everything about living on a tiny home lot is, is a plus. Rela building relationships, skills. I am excited. Like I have like rekindled my passion for this challenge. 
now that things are a smidge easier. Lily's here vibing, having some temper on the rocking chair. Love that for her. She do be living her best life though. So this bean just needs a little bit more movement and then we can age him up. So I'm gonna get him to dance. Teach dancing, please, mom. Teach me dancing. Well, I did not expect that to happen. That was the first time we've had a baby taken away. Maybe the bassinet shouldn't be in the house. Oh my God, I feel terrible. Poor baby Marlin. Oh my goodness, I'm a terrible mom. Yeah, it needs to be out here because this is where all the stuff's going on and I just never go, oh my God. We just had that child, okay. I am so sorry. That will never happen again, you guys. I was just going on about how great we were doing. Oh man, sheesh. Poor Marlin. I feel terrible. What have we done? <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna pretend like that never happened, okay? Congrats on the new addition to the family. You mean the one that just got taken away? Thank you so much. It's really sweet of you. Oh, wow. He did it. He got level three movement. Okay. So we can totes age him up then. Even though we just gave him a makeover. Uh, you know, I'll probably wait until the next episode just because I want to spend a little bit more time with toddler with toddler him. Who's this? What's her name? Hun Bolin. Well, Hun Bolin. Welcome to the family, my dude. You walk past the wrong house, let me tell you. <laughs> Look at that relate. This is unreal. All we did was give him a flirty introduction and look at our relationship bar. We're gonna whiz through this freaking challenge, you guys. From now on, we're whizzing. Absolutely whizzing. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, I will definitely work on the lot, make it pretty, make it presentable so that when we're watching this Let's Play, it's not just like very blah to look at. I like my stuff to be aesthetically pleasing, so I promise I will work on the house more off camera or I might even do it live on Twitch. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.